welcoming in from Barcelona, Oscar Amador. Oscar Amador first into the ring this evening. Now a Barcelona native, but Nicaragua born. 21 bouts before tonight. 10 wins, but only one stoppage. 11 losses, and he's been stopped five times. Had a winning record until late last year. Stepping into the York Hall ring for the first time this evening. And please welcome his opponent from Dungarvan in Ireland, Dylan Moran. Moran also stepping into the ring in York Hall for the first time. But he definitely has a winning record. Eight and oh, with five stoppages in that time. The man from Dungarvan. As I mentioned, it's his debut at York Hall, but in fact, he's not boxed at the same venue twice in his fledgling professional career. Had four bouts in England, won them all. He's had three in his native island and a stoppage of Javier Messer in Tijuana sandwiched in. Again, he steps between the hallowed ropes in this small hall mecca, looking to go nine and oh. This is a super wallaway contest of four three-minute rounds. Introducing in the blue corner, wearing the black shorts, weighing it today at 10 stone and 11 pounds. In his 22nd professional contest from Barcelona via Nicaragua, Oscar Amador. And his opponent across the ring in the red corner, weighing in today at 10 stone and nine pounds, with an unbeaten professional record of eight victories from eight contests, five by way of knockout, from Dungarvan in Ireland, Dylan Moran. Your timekeeper, Brett Bowles, your referee, Mark Bates, from Hawley. This is a super wallaway contest of four three minute rounds. The referee put in the two through their final paces before the four three minute rounds. We could see from the face off there, Dylan Moran physically much the bigger. Looks loose Second and round. relaxed. And the bell goes for the first of four three minute rounds. Moran in those black trunks with the Irish flag on the back of the waistband. Southpaw with the yellow gloves. Amador opposite him with those traditional red gloves and the orthodox stance. Not known as a puncher, Oscar Amador, but with a record just about halfway. 10 wins, 11 losses. Expecting to have a go here, but straight away Moran unleashing with that left hand. Coming through, he's almost throwing the left before he's finished throwing the right, and Amador covering up. Still looking for his first win overseas. Every one of his 10 victories has come in his native Nicaragua. Moran gets through. Another short uppercut there. And Amador keeping that guard high, but Moran with plenty of weight behind that lead left and good head movement to duck that Amador right hook. Just over a minute of the first round gone. Again, it's a heavy left hand from Moran and Amador miles away with that right hook. Looks comfortable so far. The Irishman getting through with a nice body shot as well. Mentioned in the introductions that Amador is taking part in his third bout on British soil this evening. One of them was against Lewis Ritson. So he knows all about fighters from Britain and Ireland with heavy hands. Ritson stopped him in the third round. Moran will be looking to do the same, and this is tasty work from the Irishman. Oh, it gets through with the left again. Amador's been caught a few times with that lead left, and the one following the jab as well. Not really landed anything of note as his head gets knocked back once more. Two minutes gone around number one. And the uppercut through once and twice before Moran has to do some covering up of his own.
Amador happy to stand within range here and not throw anything to discourage Moran from taking his time and taking him apart. Final 30 seconds of round one. It's been a steady display so far from the home fighter. Got a great reception as well. Plenty have made the journey to the capital. Oh, that uppercut through once more. Snaps the head back. Credit to Amador. He's taken plenty of punishment, but he's still coming forward to take a little bit more as we reach the end of round one. Same old story for Morant. It's very composed as the bell goes for the end of round one. Very easy when you're as on top as Dylan Moran is to keep the hammer down and punch yourself out. But he's boxed clever in ones, twos, threes. And a very strong opening three minutes there from Dylan Moran. Corners, 10 seconds. Seconds out, round two. Round two, Moran straight to the center of the ring, dictated the pace in round one. We expect him to do the same in the second, and if it goes that far, the third and fourth as well. Just feeling that range nicely with that southpaw right hand, and again, it's that one-two, snaps the jab out. Not really looking to do any damage with that jab, just wants to create the opening for that left hand to come through the middle. So much physically stronger than Oscar Amador. He's putting him exactly where he wants him, but Amador happy to stay in close. Perhaps that's his way of nullifying the power as Moran makes moves away from him, pushes him back to create the space he wants, charges through with that left hand again. lead left that time catches Amador and makes him miss not entirely sure Amador's connected with anything in the entire first round and as we approach halfway to the second Dylan Moran making his physical advantages height weight reach all count so Amador again misses with the right hook Moran lands in the left then moving nicely he is pretty durable though Oscar Amador As the referee just has a word with the two fighters not sure if there was a bit of a low blow there Amador looks pretty uncomfortable to say the least But that record, 10 wins, 11 losses. It's been very competitive on home soil. He's 10 and seven at home. Doesn't travel well as we see quite a lot with fighters looking to make plenty of money, looking to make it a profession. But with only that one stoppage, It'd be difficult for him to make inroads on Dylan Moran here, who's looking to go nine fights undefeated. And if the remainder of the fight goes anything like this, can't see anyone standing in his way. Again, he gets through from close range. Oh, lovely left hand straight down the middle there. Amador definitely felt it, but still comes forward. He is a tough opponent, the Barcelona native. After that stoppage for the low blow we'll be coming towards the end of round two momentarily a little nod of approval there on the belt and the touch of gloves as well two rounds in and Dylan Moran looking pretty solid but Oscar Amador is a tough old boy Corners, ten seconds Second out, round 
Third round. Dylan Moran has looked comfortable for six minutes here. But Oscar Amador really, really making him work for it. You see someone as durable as this take the shots that Amador has. And you wonder how much punishment he had to take to be stopped those five times in his 11 defeats. Oh, again, the left hand, the counter left this time from Moran. Waited for Amador to open the door and then slammed it shut. He's really worked that left uppercut well too. He's not been able to throw it from range. But now the hands come down, he looks relaxed. Just tenderizing Amador with that right hand. Amador comes forward, bit of a gasp from the York Hall crowd there. Thinks that's the first time Moran was caught. And a nod of approval and appreciation from the Irishman there as Amador lets the hands go. Really tries to make a contest of it. Perhaps knows he's behind on the scorecards. Referee tells him, don't lead with the head. He is going to get a win here. It's going to have to come via stoppage. The away fighters don't do it very often. But if they sense a weakness, they're not here to make up the numbers or be made fools of. Many a fighter in this stage of their career, seven, eight, nine wins and zero losses, has been caught out by somebody like Oscar Amador. But once again, he covers up and allows Moran to come forward. Oh, and he rocks him with the right hand this time around. Short check hook. But he's still standing. Still looks steady on his feet, Amador. Defended well. Still plenty of time in this one. This is the third round. The round that he was stopped by Lewis Ritson. Around there, gesturing for Amador to come forward. I think he'd like him to be a bit more attacking. Give this crowd a bit more to cheer about. Oh, and here they go, starting to tear up a little bit and the crowd respond as well. Exchanging shots, both leaving themselves open and both getting caught. Don't think this is a game that either of them want to play. I think the size difference would play in Moran's favour, but Amador... Showing that he can take everything that the Irishman has to throw at him. Moran, he's been very precise. Not wasted any work in these three rounds. Despite this kind of pressure he's come under with Amador leaning in. Some obvious marking on the face of Oscar Amador now. The end of the third round. I'll make that three rounds to zero in favour of Dylan Moran with one to come. Corners, ten seconds. Seconds out, fourth and final round. Final round of this one then. Bell goes and Moran... Not quite ready to go, but nice gesture between the two. It's been a great way to kick off the evening. A durable opponent in Oscar Amador. And a fighter like Dylan Moran. Really looking to push through the gears and maybe for some title fights in the next few. And it's important to come through tests like this as well. But even more important for him at this stage to maintain his unbeaten record. So don't do anything silly in this final round. He's controlled the bout. Still moving well too. Looks supremely confident. Again, boxes in that short burst before stepping out of range, filling the lungs, and then going again. He's changed the style a little bit for the third and fourth rounds. Look how low he's keeping that right hand now. He's tasted Amador's power, knows he can deal with it. So he throws these shots at will. Looks comfortable. And given the amount of punishment that he's taken, I do feel that Oscar Amador deserves to hear the final bell. I suppose comfortable is the wrong word. But it does look he, like he could stick around even longer. Where's some more leather there? The one, two from Dylan Moran. And if he is going to have a career as a travelling fighter. 
I think he might want to take fewer shots to the head, Oscar Amador. Again, the crowd get behind Moran. Sold a good few tickets for this, given that it's the opening bout of the evening. Still quite early here in the capital. Another long left there, but Amador stands tall, comes back for some more. Oh, and again, Dylan Moran. He is laser-like precise with that left hand. Winds up that hook. Plants it on Amador. What's it going to take to drop this man? Again, good movement in and out from Moran. Makes Amador miss. More punishing shots. Now is Amador in a bit of trouble. Moran steps off. It's been a lesson in discipline for the Irishman today. A few times could have maybe stepped on it to stop the Nicaraguan. Instead, he's just controlled the fight, made no mistakes, and this time it's his turn to take a low blow. You can hear the effort going into the shots from Moran as well. Wants to open Amador up, but they both hear the final bell. Lovely way to kick off the evening. Dylan Moran. Unless the scorers saw something that I didn't, will definitely take this and may even take it 40 to 36. I think the decision is already in. But Oscar Amador will perhaps have to wait a little bit longer for his debut victory in the United Kingdom. But I'm sure he's made plenty of friends here this evening as that warm round of applause around York Hall will tell us. And the travelling support show their appreciation for both men. Now we go to the middle for the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds of exciting action, a referee Bates scores the contest 40 points to 37 points to your winner and still unbeaten, Dylan Moran. And your appreciation please for Oscar Amador from Nicaragua. The Moran taking 10 points in each round, Oscar Amador. Awarded 10 in one of them, and deservedly so too. Brave performance from the away fighter, but Dylan Moran remains undefeated. It's now nine wins, zero defeats, with five coming via stoppage. Wonder what is next for the man from Dungarvan.